Welcome to this spoken tutorial on online train booking. My name is Kannan Modgalya. In this tutorial, we will learn how to choose a ticket at IRCTC, to select the sector to travel, to select the train and the class of travel, to enter user information and to decide e-ticket or i-ticket. I will also demonstrate the first time use of a debit card and how to use this to purchase the ticket online. What is needed to buy a ticket? Any one of the following for payment, a bank account with an ATM card, a bank account with online transaction capability, a credit card, and of course, a computer with internet connection. The method I will choose is the following. I have an ICICI ATM card. It is also a Visa debit card. So let us buy a ticket now. And username I will type. Underscore MOU, password. Let me log in here. Suppose I want to go from Mumbai. So the moment I type four characters, it suggests. So I want to choose Mumbai Central. S U R A. Let me type four characters and wait for it. So actually, I want to go to Surat. Notice the station codes. B C T is for Bombay Central and ST is for Surat. In the future, I can type BCT and ST directly. For example, let me delete this and type BCT, leave this as it is. Date, let me choose 23rd December. Let me choose the remaining as they are, e-ticket and general. I will talk about e-ticket or i-ticket. What are the options? What are the differences? I will explain later. Let me find the trains. Okay, let me slide to the right and see that I've got lots of trains. Let me make the font slightly smaller so that you can see all of them. Suppose I want to go by this train number 12935. So let me check if I have tickets available under second sitting 2S. Let me scroll down a little bit. It immediately says that it is wait listed. It doesn't matter. Even if it is wait listed, I want to book it. So let me click this. I get the message that the from station that I have selected does not exist on the route. Choose one of these. So let's suppose that I want to choose Bandra Terminus. Let me go and book it. Okay, let me type my name. Kannan Magdalya, age 53. Mail, birth preference, suppose I choose window seat. So it gives this button senior citizen and I get the message that passengers age should be 60 years or more. I say OK. And if I am female, senior citizen, then it says that passenger age should be 58 years or more. So for women it is 58 and for men it is 60 to be considered as senior citizens. For a senior citizen, there are discounts. So let me go back to mail, window seat. Let me not worry about all this. I just have to enter this uh, image, E37745A. Let me press go. It gives the details. Okay, and says the total amount is 99. Now I have to make payment. Let me click this. I can have any of these cards. I can have a credit card. I can use the net banking facility. I can use debit card, cash card, and so on. In order to make it uh, accessible to most people, I'm going to demonstrate the use of debit card. I need to choose one of these. Unfortunately, the card that I have, namely ICICI bank card, is not here. But it says that for any other card not listed here, if it happens to be Visa or Master debit card, click here. Let me click here. And I get the message. 
that the following banks visa master debit cards can be used to make the online transactions as on date so icsa bank is listed so let me close this so let me choose one of these i will choose this visa master so card type is visa i'm not going to show the number of the atm card that i have you have to enter the 16 digit number that comes on your debit card and then credit card expiry date and then CVV number which is the three digit number last three digits at the back of your card next to your signature after entering this information I have to press the buy button let me do that now I get the following message from ICICI bank I need to enter the validity date date of birth and then my ATM PIN number to register this card for online transaction. Let me make it bigger so that you can see what this is. I will enter all this but I won't show you. The moment I do that, I get the message given here. I am entering a six digit number now. I have to choose it properly. It should be easy for me to remember and not so easy for others. I have to type it twice. This is to ensure that I created the password correctly. This will prevent typing mistakes. Remember, you have to create this password only once. From now on, you will use this password with your debit card. To confirm it, let me submit. I get the message, congratulations, the ticket has been booked. Note that all the information about the ticket are also given, including the PNR number, which we will have to follow up to see whether our waitlisted ticket gets confirmed before we begin the journey. You are now looking at the automated email sent by IRCTC. The ticket details are here. You can take a printout if you wish. Let us go back to the slides. I have come back to the slide. What to do next? You can take a printout of the ticket. Waitlisted ticket has to get confirmed before you travel. The printout taken while waitlisted is good enough. You don't have to print it again. If the ticket is already confirmed, there are no difficulties. How general is the procedure that I have shown in this tutorial? There could be minor variations in different ATM cards. The method is similar for credit cards. Online bank transaction is similar. But the overall procedure is identical in all the methods. To enter card or account information, to enter the password, some need a temporary code sent to your mobile phone. The next question is, should one buy e-ticket or i-ticket? First, we will begin with e-ticket. One can buy this in the last minute also. One needs a printer or a smartphone, however. No worry about losing it. If you lose it, you can always take another printout. You need identity proof at the time of travel, however. In case of i-ticket, it will be sent by a courier. Of course, you have to pay for this about rupees 50. You should have two to three days for postal delivery. The delivery is not available for all towns and villages. The cancellation can be done at ticket counters only. Of course, you don't need an identity proof if you travel with an i-ticket. What is an identity proof? Any government issued card with photo. It could be a PAN card, election card, driving license, or a passport. It could be any of these. I have now opened a website that explains it. One of these with your photograph has to be carried. Let us go back to the slides. There are concessional rates available. A yeah, useful site is given here. Let us visit this site now. I have returned to the slides. Senior citizens get about 40% discount. 
who is a senior citizen men it is 60 years and above for women it is 58 years and above one needs the proof at travel time for any concession what to carry during travel if you booked an e-ticket any one proof of your ticket an e-copy in your smartphone or a printout of the ticket and an identity card or take the i-ticket in case of i-ticket as mentioned earlier no identity proof is required i have the following useful tips for you please book in advance book even if the chance of travel is small you can always cancel the tickets you will lose some money if you cancel however this may be better than not having a ticket at all you cannot buy a ticket in the last minute book when the IRCTC website is fast typically mid afternoon or late night may be fast avoid 8 to 10 a.m. if you can in the next tutorial we will discuss how to manage the tickets booked through IRCTC, how to view past bookings, how to check the PNR status and how to cancel a ticket. I will now talk about the Spoken Tutorial project. Watch the video available at spoken-tutorial.org slash what is a Spoken Tutorial. It summarizes the Spoken Tutorial project. If you do not have good bandwidth, you can download and watch it. The Spoken Tutorial project team conducts workshops using Spoken Tutorials, gives certificates to those who pass an online test. For more details, contact sptutemail at gmail.com. Spoken Tutorial project is a part of the Talk to a Teacher project. It is supported by the National Mission on Education through ICT, MHRD, Government of India. More information on this mission is available at spoken-tutorial.org slash NMEICT dash intro. We have come to the end of this tutorial. Thanks for joining. This is Kannan Moggalya signing off. Goodbye.